Now, battery swap stations is one of the things that makes Neo to stand out from the other EV competitors. And if you are investing or if you've been investing into Neo for some time, you should know by now that this, like I said, is something or one thing that separates Neo from the other EV competitors. As uh, these battery swap stations entails uh, the Neo clients, Neo users going to a battery swap station and changing their battery in the car or swapping the battery in the car in less than four and a half minutes now you all know by now that neo has been doing strategical partnerships when it comes to deploying these battery substations i mean one of the biggest partnership when it comes to battery substations that was the main highlight to me it was when neo signed a partnership or strategic partnership with the fossil giant sinopec which entails neo deploying the battery substations at sinopec's gas station now neo is not only or oh, Neo has not been partnering with, of course, the companies like Sanopec or gas companies like Sanopec, but they've also been partnering with other companies and deploying these battery substations in the highways. I mean, ladies and gents, today we read uh, wonderful news of saying that uh, Neo has partnered yet again with another company that goes by the name of Hainan, which, ladies and gents, it will be helping Neo deploying the charging infrastructure battery substations uh, in the highway. Now, as I've said already, the main purpose or the primary purpose of this partnership is to Neo, is for Neo to speed up the deployment of this uh, battery substation, which is something that is truly amazing and something that uh, I personally believe that it will encourage or bring in more demand of people wanting to buy the Neo cars because who would not want to buy a car that enables you to swap a battery in your car? In less than four and a half minutes this is one of the things that ladies and gents makes me to be really excited about investing into neo now you will remember that uh, uh, neo not only is it offering these services in china but it is also offering these services in norway which is the first destination outside of china where neo started selling their cars now ladies and gents at norway you know already that they they was already or there is already a battery substation live there which was servicing the people that buy the neo es8 cars in norway but ladies and gents more good news from norway came in today of neo uh, putting into operation or bringing live the second battery substation in no way which is something that is incredible because this just definitely means that those people in no way who buy the neo es8 are going to reap enjoy the benefits that come with the battery uh, swap station when i read that article my mind was blown away i was really excited because not only is neo implementing such a service in china but they are also implementing these battery shopping station or these battery shop stations outside of china and like i said this is one of the main things that makes people to really like buying the neo cars not only just in china but also outside of china i mean you remember that uh, in norway that first battery substation which was there there was a, a company by the name of fifth gear that went test driving the neo car and go to a battery substation and getting to see or getting to of course uh, experience shopping a battery in the ev car in less than four and a half minutes made them to really like the kind of service that neo is providing which is one of the things that ladies and gentlemen will make neo not only to flourish in china but flourish also outside of china to get to know that neo right now they have put into operation these second battery substations in norway is one of the good things that ladies and gents is going to make uh, of course the consumers of norway to consider going in and buy those es8 that are being sold currently in norway now norway is not the only destination ladies and gents that neo will finish the year selling their cars in when it comes to europe but you know by now that there is four more new european countries which neo plan to have penetrated before this year ends and that is denmark netherlands sweden and germany which is something that is truly amazing and to get to know that not only will neo be selling cars but they will also be taking those kind of a service like battery shopping services it is something that is incredible and something that will make them to really stand out especially looking 
at a country like Germany where you find these big automakers or these big uh, vehicle companies there they are really going to make the name for themselves especially with a service like a bus or battery as a service which entails them deploying a battery substation which people can go or those that buy the new cars can go and swap a battery in their car in less than four and a half minutes so it is also something that is really amazing or incredible to know that you know, new year will be penetrating for more european countries and you know by now that Obviously, by 2025, New has already tell, told us in New Year Day 2021 that they plan to have penetrated 25 countries uh, by 2025, which is something that is incredible. And we know, or we already know, that the U.S. is one of the countries where New York will be selling their cars before 2025. So getting to know that the U.S. will be one of the countries where New York will penetrate in the near future before 2025 is something that is incredible and something that continue to make me to remain bullish stay strong on this new stock because i know that once we hit the us then neo is going to see a lot of sales coming in also from europe i'm i mean europe i mean for a place like uh, germany's place like norway you will know that the especially norway you know that of course the the ev penetration there i think it's very very high at least something that must just show you that Neo entering Norway first, it was a strategic move because they know that EV cars, they are trending or are most preferred than gas cars, which is something that is incredible and something that, of course, motivates me or makes me to see that Neo really has a bright future ahead. And I know that some of the people might be worried about what about the, will Neo meet the demand of the cars that, or of these places where they'll be selling their cars, which the answer to that it's a simple yes because you know that the, right now new uh, by september they will be opening their neo park or their new factory called neo park which of course at the opening of that factory the capacity will be around three hundred thousand there at neo park which is something that is incredible and obviously you know that this already jet neo factory which is a factory which new is currently of course uh, producing their cars at right now and their daily production capacity there at jack new is around 600 uh, vehicles per day and the neo park you know that the maximum capacity or the uh, the annual production capacity there it's one million evs which is something that is incredible and something that is amazing and of course it is going to make neo to try to meet the demand from the uh, from the orders or from the clients that want to buy this neo cars which is something that you should put your heart at ease when you know that not only is neo uh, penetrating several countries but they are also preparing production wise they are also ramping up their production so that they meet the demand that might come with the neo cars because with the neo cars you know that not only are they lagged in china but they are also lagged outside of china which is why an analyst like uh, Mizuo Securities indicated that not they foresee Neo, of course, generating 30% of their total revenues outside of China, which is something that I totally agree with because, like I said, not only are Neo cars like in China, but they are also like outside of china otherwise with all that guys i just thought i should just give you this quick update as to what is it that we just got to read about new neo today otherwise if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you load the boat onto this new stock please do make sure that you do your own dd so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing onto this stock otherwise you know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video and if or of course if you like this video don't forget to hit that likes button if yes it helps with youtube's algorithm otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all